He is affectionately known as Dr. Andrew. He was a simple guy, didn't know what he was working on. He's had a very big impact in this area. I grew up very short-sighted and didn't do particularly well at school for the first few years because I couldn't really see what I was doing. Ended up going for an eye test at about the age of 12, got given a pair of glasses and everything suddenly changed. That always left me with a very strong sense of how important vision is. From that point on, I was constantly thinking about new ways of delivering eye care, of changing the model of aid that doesn't work. In Kenya, four in every five people who are blind don't need to be blind. The challenges of reaching the people who need to be reached the most is that they're beyond the end of the tarmac road, taking vanfuls of equipment, train staff, and setting up examination clinics. This equipment is not designed for traveling. When you get there, you realize there's no electricity to run fancy machines that we need to use. I thought there has to be a better way. The aim was to create something that was portable, that was easy to use, that was intuitive, and that was low cost. Smartphones were really the absolute amazing power that is sat in our pockets. I thought I have to be able to use this to replicate all the tests that we're doing in the field and, and put it on a smartphone. And that's when the idea was born. We came up with Peak, the portable eye examination kit, a low cost, easy to use lens adapter to let us examine the back of the eye, and a simple set of tests that make it possible to measure vision. It also geotags where we've done the examination so we can find the patients later. In Kenya, more people have access to a mobile phone than they do clean water. So when somebody comes up and says they've got a phone, they want to test your vision with it, they're totally unintimidated by it. She's, she's got no vision, um, but hopefully she can have good vision back again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. St Mary's Hospital has been a breath of fresh air. George Odiembo, the eye surgeon there, Michelle who coordinates it. These guys are the real heroes. <laughs> They're not supposed to be here. They're loose. <laughs> the biggest cause of blindness is cataract. Cataract surgery is one of those amazing procedures which has been refined to the point now where it requires a lot of skill, but it can be done at a very low cost in a very short time, and almost instantly you give somebody their vision back. I've done well over 10,000 cataract surgeries. Uh, we do between 30 to 40 a day. One of the myths that we fight constantly is that blindness is just part of old age and that's the way you are and there's nothing you can do about it. Die. Go, go. When you see people you haven't seen for such a long time, faces of children, seeing grandchildren for the first time. There's no price that can be put on that. When one person goes back who is blind and has been blind for years and they're seeing, then everyone else starts to believe, well, actually, this is possible. <laughs> The hopes for the future with this app are very much that people will take it as their own and make it better. <laughs> Our aim is not to be the best at making apps and gadgets. Our aim is to reduce the burden of blindness. <laughs>